Yo, what's up everybody? Happy holidays, December, and guess what I got? An iColor 560 from Uninet, and we're gonna give it a shot, and am I getting back into the t-shirt business? Kind of. If you guys don't know, I'm doing YouTube management, and one thing I'm trying to introduce is merch for my clients so they can make some extra money. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unbox this, we're gonna do a couple test runs, and hopefully start making merch for my clients. Let's see how it goes. And is this printer better than a DTG, direct to film, heat transfers? You're gonna find out. I'm gonna give you my honest opinion about it. All right guys, I'm right here with the Uninet iColor 560. We're unboxing it, we're getting it ready. Seems super easy to set up. Let's give it a shot. So, I finally got the printer to print some images. I'm not gonna lie, every time you get a new piece of equipment, there's gonna be a learning curve. No matter what piece of equipment you get, no matter what you do in life, there's gonna be that learning curve. It took me two days to figure out that my laptop, it wasn't exporting to the right port. It wasn't connected to the printer. I had to do some research. And one thing I love about this community, especially the owners of Uninet, they have a lot of resources that could help you out. They got courses, they got Facebook groups. You, There's so many other people. Like for example, I was having issues with this. I hit up one of my t-shirt buddies, Nico Prince. I'm like, Nico, you know anybody that has an eye color 560 that could help me out? He goes, I got a color 560. So we were talking, he helped me out. So if you ever have any issues, go use the resources. And of course, of course, I took a couple classes at the University of YouTube. They helped out as well. Now I just finished printing some examples. And let me show you what we're gonna do next. I printed one letter one right here, full color. Then I printed one, a bigger one. See, I don't know if you can tell by the camera, but this one has holes in it. See that? And this is something unique about this printer right here, that it, do, it prints A211 size images if you want it that big. But if you print just like a square, it's gonna, it's gonna be rough. And that's great for one custom shirt orders, you know, something quick. But if you want that softer feel, you do have to put holes or stripes in it, which the computer does for itself. But of course you could go in there and change it up a bit. You know, I'm just giving you the main idea. I'm sure if you really wanna get into it, there's more YouTube videos out there. There's Facebook groups. There's a lot of resources. And you're here's another thing. Don't think you're gonna plug it in, it's gonna start making you money. No, you need a couple weeks, if not months, to play around with it, and that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna make a few free shirts for my girl, my family, get the hang of it, see what I can and can't do. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna marry the sheets, make sure to get a prenup. So, let's go, 310 degrees, 120 seconds. Let's preheat the bottom of the heat press. Ah. All right, and now we're gonna marry the adhesive sheet with the first sheet like this. Bam. Let's go. I'm not gonna lie. I, uh, I'm watching a tutorial on YouTube on how to do it properly. And while this is heating up, just wanna let you know, you guys want an awesome heat press like this one? 16 by 24, auto open, pulls out. The only thing it doesn't do, fits your credit, but that's on you. Or if you guys want this printer, check it out in the description below. There are affiliate links. They don't cost you anything extra, but they do help support the channel to help me keep providing that free 99 knowledge. And another thing I wanna let you know is that when you start something, you're gonna make mistakes. These are the prints that came out good. I had like another five prints that I was still trying to figure out. Did a couple tests, kinda didn't come out right, but it's part of the game. And that's why I can't emphasize enough. Take your time. Don't take orders right away. Instead, play around with your machine until you get the hang of it, all right?
Because the last thing you want is you get the machine, you get a 50 shirt order, and you don't even know how to print one shirt. I've been there, done that, you don't want to do that. All right, guys, so like I told you, always take some time to practice with your new equipment. It's been about two weeks, and today we're going to make some shirts for my family. Personal use only, all right? I'm not selling these, but that way you could see what kind of designs you could make. Let's go. All right, here we go. My girl, my little girl, my boy. Let's marry them and put them on the shirt. The steps, very easy. You print that A sheet, marry it to the B sheet, 310 degrees for 120 seconds. You peel hot, super easy to peel off. Then you get the shirt. He presses onto the shirt for 120 seconds. Then you have to let the shirt cool down, peel it, and then to get that shiny off, so it could be a matte finish, you need to use the T-seal sheet or the craft sheet, and that's pretty much it. Super easy. And man, I'm print. look at that, I'm printing these designs like nothing. And I know what you're thinking, but Reyes, what if I have a bigger design? Well, they have a software that cuts it for you, but one thing I highly recommend if you're gonna get into a t-shirt business is you need to learn graphic design, at least the basics. I use CorelDRAW, but you could use Photoshop, Illustrator, take some free courses at the University of YouTube, but you, if you really wanna be successful, you cannot rely on other people to make the designs for you. You go ask for help but you need to at least know the basics. Like this design right here. Cut it into half, boom, boom. Gonna put it together. And of course, always make sure to trim. That way, you don't get residue on your shirt. So there you have it, just finished these shirts. And just wanna let you know, this was an introduction video into the iColor 560 to see how it works, the process. But I do wanna make more videos, especially since I'm offering merch to my YouTube management clients. I wanna be able to fulfill their merch, help them make an extra source of income. So if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments below about this printer, about the t-shirt business, and I'm gonna use those questions to make more videos on this. And if you like this video, you wanna see more about the t-shirt business or me doing the merch for my YouTube management clients, like and subscribe, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram to see what I'm up to, man. I'll see you guys in the next one.